Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new live recording of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary Difficulty, i.e. the hardest difficulty, which might go on a little bit longer than we thought, which, is all, which also includes some Twitch live recording. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, over here on Twitch, there has been the craziest level of generosity this channel has ever seen. I won't get into it too much because people that are watching this live right now have heard me talk about this so much i never shut up about it it's just been over the top uh in addition to that with the patrons which i mostly consider a youtube thing uh man i, I know i say it all the time and i'm a broken record but i cannot I, I genuinely can't say it enough thank you everybody that watches everybody that supports everybody man i i don't know what's happening to be frank with you on youtube and on twitch i'm getting hit by all sides from just pure generosity and pure just people saying they like the stuff that i'm putting out uh, all I can say is I'm going to keep going the best that I possibly can. Uh, we're doing a giant event month uh, in May for Twitch uh, to try and give back, just like stream every single day. I don't know, dude. I just want to say, like, seriously, everybody that watches the stuff that I do on YouTube and Twitch, thank you so, so much. I've got to just keep giving it my all. I know people can use distractions right now, as I keep saying, so... Yeah, we're going to try to keep, you know, I, I think I have a lot to offer. The main thing I got to work on is saltiness. Sometimes I get a little complainy and salty. I'm very self-aware of that, I know. I think I've just been doing this job too long so that a lot of stuff, you know, kind of uh, drags me down. Like crafting, you know, for instance, I'm not the most patient when it comes to that. So, got to work on that mainly. But other than that, I think I have a lot to give in terms of, you know, just playing video games and talking. So, just thank you, everybody. I am in over my head with what's been happening, but I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Welcome back to a live episode. This is being streamed live on Twitch, uh, live on Twitch on uh, twitch.tv slash Grovana, uh, April 15th, 2020. So if you want to come watch future episodes, click the link in the description. Come on over. We'd love to have you watch live. You know, it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of other stuff too. We're doing the Final Fantasy VII remake currently, which I'm absolutely in love with. I, uh, I, I love it, so... Anyways, let's get in. Uh, in the last episode, we were doing hard fire. Now, before you click off, don't worry. We're not going to do a full thing at hard fire. No people, like, aren't digging this section of the uh, playthrough that much. Look, I told you, it just kind of has to be done. It, it gives us smithing, and it's a DLC. Like, do you want me to just not record it? I know some of it's painful. I know. I'm not the best with this DLC. I know. But I don't know. It, you know, it's somewhat fun. We, look, we got to do hard fire. But I'm saying today is not going to be only hard fire. But... We will do what we can do, and what we can do is remodel the entryway into a whatever it's called. So everybody and everybody, anybody and everybody left the comment that we need to do this, which I think I did the same exact thing in the 100% playthrough with Adrenoch. I totally forgot you're supposed to do this. Well, because, forgive me, it's confusing. Remodel house into an entryway. You think, I think that that means like convert the house back to the start and then begin again. You know what I mean? So that's why I always forget to do this. But we're going to do this. Remodel house into an entryway. Bam. So then, I guess what that does... I mean, that looks the same. Right? It looks the exact same. But it's different. So let's go check inside now. The Winstad Manor. Yeah, I, I don't... I always forget how this works. So now, there's no bed. So basically, it just turns the, the, the bedroom that you initially had into an entryway, a foyer, you know? So, okay, fine. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't, it, this could serve as a bedroom. I know it's kind of weird in terms of the layout, but whatever. So there we go. That's what we did. We converted, and as everybody said, oh, that gets rid of all the stuff that you put in here, which was a waste of materials. Yeah, I'm not the best with hearth fire. I'm just not. If you've paid attention for one second to my content, I am not the biggest fan of crafting, man. I'm just not. So we're going to try to make all this stuff as to the best that we can. So we have display case, low table, display case, low table, low table, night tables, weapon racks. And now we're missing some stuff. So what do we need here? Wall shelves. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Uh, so what do we need? We need two iron fittings and we need a whole bunch of pelts. Bear pelt, deer hide, large antlers, deer hide, large antlers, saber cat pelt, two saber cat tooth teeth, saber cat snow pelt, two saber cat tooth. Uh, and then a wolf pelt and then iron fitting. So how many iron fittings do we need? We need one and we need three. We need three total iron fittings. So let's just finish that out. This will be the only hearth fire. Trust me. For, don't click off the video. Look, we're, we're not going to do the whole day hearth fire. Trust me. Okay. It's all going to be over very quickly. We need three iron fittings though. So let's go down to building materials and build. Bam, bam. Thank you, man. 
and then we'll head back in here so yeah all of the materials we used for furnishing the entryway or the bedroom or whatever you want to call it was wasted and that's my bad so thank you for all the the tips so there we go weapon racks and then we'll build the wall sconces and then yeah all we need is a bunch of pelts now is there an easy way to get pelts Bear pelt, deer hide, large antlers, deer hide, large, large antlers, saber cat pelt, two saber cat teeth. Yeah, pelts and teeth, pelts and teeth, pelts and teeth. Is there somebody that sells? This is something I rarely ever buy other than hearth fire because there's not much of a point. We could check Bellathor's goods. I'm sure chat's giving me the answer right now, but I want to figure it out myself as I am wont to do. So let's head to White Run and let's go to uh, Bellathor's general goods and see if he sells. I mean, who else would sell it? Hunters, if you find hunters in the wild, but I'm not about to go look. Oh, look at that. This is the N64 port, by the way, of Skyrim, if you didn't know. So it's got some N64 textures. Looks really good. We could do the Mario 64 triple jump. Woo! Woohoo! Woo-ha! See, it didn't look like we jumped that high, but trust me, it was super high. Oh my god, Bellathor. Bellathor's goods isn't uh, is falling on some hard times. Here, we're just gonna check and got see if he's got some pelts. Just about everybody in here. What up, my dude? Everything's. Take a look. Do you have some pelts for me? Do you have it, baby boy? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Thank you so much. I didn't have anything to rhyme with boy. Sorry. Let's see. Glass we need. Goat hide we need. Goblet, grand soul gem, horker tusk. I'm gonna buy the tusks anyways because we might end up needing them. Ice wolf pelt, jug jug kettle. Lesser Soul Gem lockpicks. I need all these, that's for sure. Mammoth Tusk, which weighs five. I don't think we have the carry weight. Snow, Saber Cat, Snow Pelt. Yeah. Tankard and Troll Skull. Can we jump? Okay, we're not encumbered just yet. Let's also go to uh, Arcadia's Cauldron. Oh my god, look at this shit. Why does this happen randomly? Why does this happen randomly? I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. You look rather pale. I look rather pale because I work from uh, it's the coronavirus. It's the coronavirus. That's why I look pale. I'm never pale naturally. It's only because of the coronavirus. <laughs> I haven't been pale my entire life, and so much so that people have commented it, uh, commented on it in, in my you know in like college and stuff, and asked if I'm sick. That, that's never been a thing. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Do you have like teeth and shit? Teeth and eyes. Let's see. You got no teeth and no eyes. Really? Okay, we need to sell some stuff. We're, it, why does it tell you the carry weight? We're, we're over by a About pound. Anytime, that ain't nothing. We're going to drop something. What do we got? Let's drop an ingredient. Anything weigh a lot? Let's see. Briarheart's bone... Oh, get that shit out of my... Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Hope you like the bone meal. You look pale. How dare she? Uh, all right. Should we buy some, veg ve some veggies too? You need trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of I thing. need them leeks. There's them leeks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go to food and see how much food we have of each. Uh, why is this in there? Get out. Cabbage six, leek five, mammoth cheese bowl, uh, potato, tomato, vegetable soup. Okay, that's good. We have five of each. Cool beans. Remember, All right, we can make some veggie okay. soup too. Okay. Now we're going to go back and make as much hearth fire shit as we can, and then we're going to go adventuring. Like I said, this entire episode is not going to be Hearthfire. Trust me. And in fact, we might extend just because, uh, again, people were insanely generous in my Twitch chat. And I just want to kind of give them some Skyrim because I know that's what everybody's frothing at the mouth for. Some out of school Skyrim. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how long we go. Uh, I don't want to go... Like, I'm fine with recording a shit ton of Skyrim. But the thing is, I don't want it to be too long to where it's intimidating for people to watch. Like, two hours, you know? It's like... Two hours is a little harder. I'm not in... Okay, I see your point, top left, but also I'm not in combat. So... No, no, I, I understand, but, like, I'm not in combat. There's... No, hear the music. It's very eclectic, nice music. I'm not in... Oh, my God. All right, wait an hour. Huh? You're killing me, Smalls. Literally, you're killing me, Smalls. I said that before I even realized I had this shirt on. What is over here? What's stopping me now? What is this? Bandit chief? Yo. Yo. I'm not. Uh-uh. No. You know what? No. I'm not. No. Not at all. We're going all out. Berserker rage. Beast form. You done f now. Oops. I dropped an F-bomb. Whoopsie.
Gotta edit that out because YouTube doesn't let you say anything like that anymore. Like, genuinely, you can't even curse anymore. At all. You, if you curse, you have to literally check a box that says that you've been a bad boy and that you cursed. No, I'm not kidding. God, I love YouTube. What a great place. You can't be yourself at all. <laughs> Bye, bitch. But it's totally fine to be a giant werewolf man literally murdering somebody and then consuming them. That's fine. Just don't say the F word. No, no, no. Don't say the F word, silly. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where was that other body? We need to consume it for that sweet, sweet perk progress. Oh, God. I can't find it. Where was she? I might not be able to find this woman. She was somewhat near here, wasn't she? There goes blood. Uh, there goes uh, Berserker Rage. So we can actually see her now. Man, it's so hard finding the bodies. There should be like a little marker, you know. That would help you out. Where are you at, girl? Where you at, girl? Oh, there she is. Heart consumed. Werewolf perk progress increased. Yay. Okay, so the trick is to wait an hour, and we're no longer a werewolf. Okay, wait an hour? Okay, good. All right, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, let's go put the stuff in, and then we will uh, actually do some fun quests for once. I know. We've been, like, making a house for so long. Okay, what do we got? Are you... Are you kidding? I thought the other pelts acted like... Okay, goddammit. I thought the other pelts acted like, uh, you know, if you have a snowy saber cat, it acts as the, sna the saber cat. I thought that was a thing. I guess not. All right, we're done with Hearthfire for now. We'll come back and do all of this uh, eventually. But for now, let's drop all this shit off. Store, 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 do 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 store, 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 store. Store, 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 store. We have just six locks in our pocket. Talk about a locksmith. That didn't, that's not even a joke. That, that didn't even mean anything. Don't laugh at that. Okay, uh, straw, and we're good. So we have a good amount of carry weight. All right, time to do something fun. Question is, which one do we want to do first? I think we want to save the uh, everybody's favorite for the end. So, here's the thing. We're going to do a couple of Daedric quests. We've done the majority of them, but we still have a good, like, five or six left. Two of them are very fun, and everybody loves them. We're going to do one now. The problem is, I think you have to be level 14. I think it was 14. You have to be level 14 to start this. We're level 39, something like that. So, oh my no, god, Whiterun, you look like shit, dude. So the thing is, once you're level 14... People have forgotten humor, poetry, what? romance. I love a good sword fight as much as the next man, but there's more to that. That was like a that was like a weird like wa lonesome drifter just imparting wisdom and then leaving us for the rest of our lives. Okay, here's the thing. Once you become level 14, whenever you enter a tavern, the guy spawns and he will always be in that tavern. And I always forget about this, which means I never keep track of it. So, and I need to, okay, drill this into my mind now. When I am level 14 in a future Skyrim playthrough, remember to keep track of which tavern you enter. Remember. Remember this moment, GV. Remember it now. Remember, GV. Because now I have to track down this dude and I have no idea where he is. So we have to check the taverns and uh, try to figure out which tavern we entered when we became level 14. I have some ideas. It's obviously going to be some, like, uh, well, I mean, really, it could be anything. Uh, in fact, if anybody in the Twitch chat has a good idea, feel free to let me know. We're in Whiterun. He wasn't there. He's not in the Bannered Mare. So, where else would he be? He, I mean, can he, can he be in a place like Riverwood? Can he be in the smaller towns? I know, but I'm not in combat. A quote, please, Grovana. Everybody agree with me, please. Hey, we're back in Riverwood, and it's another dragon. <laughs> what a surprise, dude. I can't believe it. And it's an elder dragon. Please, somebody do something. Yeah, sorry, pal. It's legendary difficulty. What do you want me to do? I can attack him with Mayroon's Razor again for the 18,000th time. Guess we'll give it a shot. I think I'll cut this out, though, if it's too long. In fact, I have to cut it out. Winterhold. Okay, 
All right, uh, we're going to try to give this a shot. We're going to try to make it fast. See if he lands and get him out of there with Mayroon's Razor. It's the only way. Can't fight this thing in a one-on-one -on -one fight. I literally think it's impossible. Fall to me, dragon. Fall to me, dragon. Oh, yeah. They always get up there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, all we have to do is get lucky. We'll give this one shot. If it doesn't work, we're out of here. Okay, let's see where he lands. We got Whirlwind Sprint readied. Where are you going to land, big boy? Not going to land. Surprise no surprising nobody. Just need you to land on a rooftop. Or there. If you want to land right there, that's cool too. Oh! Come on! 3% baby! 3% did not happen. Alright, we're out of here. I'm not spending the whole episode on this. Nope. So yeah, there's like a 3% chance Mayroon's Razor will activate, instantly killing the Elder Dragon. Otherwise, that's our only chance. Otherwise, this is not gonna happen. So once again, we have to flee from Riverwood for the upteenth time. Spam that back button. There we go. We are out of here. So let's see. If I was a level 14 in an inn, where would I be? Anybody have any clues? Your favorite city? Riverwood can't get... Oh, it, yeah, it actually might be in Markarth. Let's go give Markarth a shot. We'll try, like, three taverns. And if we can't find it, we'll just... We'll cut until we can find it. Night Gate Inn? I don't think so. Silver Blood Inn, though. Could be here. We got him. We got him. So Sam Guaven is the dude you we're look looking like for. Someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? Yeah, nobody's ever gotten in trouble doing that. So again, how this works is once you turn level 14, the next inn that you visit, Sam Guaven will be there. So you got to keep track of it if you want to track this guy down. Obviously, there's some likelier candidates such as the Bannered Mare, the Silver Blood Inn, places where you go to get quests or do quests or whatever. So I was like, we probably went to the Silver Blood Inn at some point. And um, yeah, for the, you know, Markarth quest. So there he is. So that's who you're trying to look for. We found him. What's up? Me, war if you're looking dangers, for a challenge, you've come to the price. right place. The drinking contest? You don't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll see about that. This is a special room. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. You're challenging an orc, you do realize, right? If you've got the go huh? Get out of here. This is a private contest, sir. Your turn. Here we go. One down, my friend. One down. And another one for me. And how about you? The second drink. Easy enough. So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Two? Tell you what. One more and you win the contest. You had two? Yeah, video game logic, by the way. One one beer equals... <laughs> what am I even doing? <laughs> yeah, this guy had two drinks and tapped out. and we, we had three as a big giant orc and we're done. One more. No problems. Wow. You've really done it. The staff is yours. That's right. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Well, yeah, I've had wake a whole up. two beers. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Uh, my head. Yes, your head hurts, and you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. He did say it was a special brew. Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. 
I'm sorry, I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, I'd love to help you figure it out. But I'm so busy cleaning up the mess you made of our temple. Now, if you were to help tidy up and perhaps apologize afterwards, I might be able to help you. Senna looks so different in the Sp Skyrim Special Edition version of the game. Like, the saturation is so turned up. Also, we're in the Temple of Debella. You can tell by the boobies. What does Shrine of Debella give you? Blessing of Debella. I forget what that is. Probably something with speechcraft or something. <laughs> Literally plus 10 speechcraft. Surprise, surprise. We need it. We do need to get the Talos, though, because that's way better. We have the Alto. I wonder if I. Can I just move it? Eh? Uh, what if I just move in, huh? What do you say? I don't want this in my inventory, dude. Okay, Alto Wine. We got a Giant's Toe. That's actually good. And we got to re read repair supplies. We need the following to repair the broken staff. Giant's Toe, Holy Water, Hag Raven Feather, and Sam from the Lord of the Rings. All right, does anybody have Sean Astin on speed dial? <laughs> I did it. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness after all. Even for a drunk like you. So do you remember anything I <laughs> said when I got here? You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. Rorikstead. I'll check Rorikstead. Oh man, I guess while we're doing this quest, there's a, there's a couple of drunk stories we could talk about as we're doing some of the more boring stuff. Um, the, the drunkest night, I mean, and by the way, full disclaimer here, I do not promote alcohol, of course, unless you drink responsibly, and if you're over the age of 20... So somebody clip that, maybe? If you want. Uh, okay, there's a dragon being raised over there. Uh, let's try to kill it. Maybe it's going to be a weak one. Did we save over this? Uh, yeah, let's keep saving over that. All right, we'll give it a shot. You're going to get it, Sissel? Who's Sissel? What? Wait, th is this kind? No, we're Kynesgrove's in a completely different spot, right? And he already rose the dragon. There are dragon burial mounds, I remember... That have different named dragons each time. Yo, Alduin, you doing this shit again, dude? I told you, you show your face around here. Dude, you better leave. Yeah, he knows. I told him. If he shows his face around here again, I'm going to beat his ass. Ten things you didn't know about Skyrim. If you stand over a dragon burial mound, you'll get knocked away. <laughs> Now let's test something. Let's test something. We're gonna mark both of these for death. Then, Naha Gleave. Whoa, okay. That went very well. That went very well. God. I'll tell you what, you want dragons to actually feel like a challenge, just play on legendary mode. Holy shit, because when I played on normal difficulty, I was like, a dragon? Pfft. Oh, you mean a free soul? Okay. Now playing on legendary, it's like, a dragon? How about we go the opposite way of where we were coming from? Or how about we go the opposite way of wherever the dragon is? We're going to give this one more shot, but again, I don't want the whole episode to be fighting dragons as it as it is wont to be. So what do we do? Let's uh, set up correctly. Mesa Molag Ball in the right hand, Mayrun's Razor in the left hand. Let's make sure Mesa Molag Ball is fully charged. Black Soul Gem, let's see. Do we have our Black Star? Uh, and then we'll go ahead. Well, if we could just use Stealth. Yeah, let's try to just use Stealth. I'm gonna save over here. We'll see what happens. There's some dragon shit going on. Alduin Thuri. Shit. Is he good? Is he alive? Is he just not going to turn around? I mean... No! Why? 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 
genuinely why? Genuinely did it have to really be the last second? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? I don't, okay. Come on, maybe he's weak as hell. It's not that weak. Mayron's razor. Ugh. All right, let's reload that. I swear to God, dude. <laughs> These dragons, man. All right, as soon as we see him fully formed, we're going for it. I don't even think Alduin has a, uh, has like a detection range. Why? Okay, come on, Mayroon's Razor. If ever there was a time. Come on, Mayroon's Razor. Come on, baby. Come on, that 3%. It's not too high. Come on. Oh, my God. Just let me smack him once in stealth. Why must you do this to me? Just let me hit. Uh, you, uh, stealth has been canceled or something. Alduin Fury. So, Alduin does have a detection range. Why, why did he notice me? I'm... I just need to give you a tap. Yes, thank you. Holy shit. That's all I wanted. Give me your, give me your bones. Give me your freaking bones, dude. Bye, bitch. Give me your soul, too. See ya. Thank you. Yeah, Alduin. That's a, that's a message for what's to come. So give me your soul. Come on. We don't got all day. Come on. I got, we got things to do. Hmm. Dragony. Probably should have done it at a better. When you become Tobias Fuge. Ugh. Okay. Anyways. Rorikstead. We're in Rorikstead. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, Justice? You <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that so? Does the name Gledder ring a bell? The star beauty of my farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? You better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't a female but actually an animal? Or a female animal. Um... Justice Gaming 56 just dropped a 10 gifted sub bomb. Let that be known. Thank you, Justice. Holy God. That sounds pretty bad. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize winning goat like Gledder. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. So here's the thing. You can persuade or just buy off or intimidate each one of these, uh, which I typically do because you get some experience for that. We're going to do it the fun way, because otherwise, why even do this quest? This quest is very fun, but, um, only, you know, it, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to do it the pay him off or the, the speech way. What happened with Gleda again? I'm a little fuzzy on that. You really don't remember stealing a goat and selling her to a giant? Are you thick? Go get her. At least she's bound to follow you back. You smell just like the fermented feet she likes. Okay, that is just rude. Did I say anything about where I left the staff? You mentioned something like that when you were running off with my goat. Tell you what, you bring back my goat and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. Dude, imagine thinking you own a strong female goat in 2020. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy right here. Are you serious, dude? Goats are, goats are their own strong. All right, you get what I'm, you get where I'm going with that. So, again, we can just persuade him, but we're going to actually go kill the... Now, I'm not going to kill this fox just because of the people that are mad when I kill defenseless animals. Fine, I'll give you that one. But I'm not promising I won't kill foxes in the future. Just saying. Somebody asked about uh, any mods. No, we've only done Creation Club on this particular file, which I'm going to delete. Can you not? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, can you not? Can you not? Why do you have to... Ugh. You have to fly right here. All right, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We wait till he lands, and then we whirlwind the hell away. Oh, is he just not? Oh, okay. Just didn't want to pick a fight. Thank God. Finally. So, yeah, we're actually going to go kill the giant. Because this is legendary difficulty, and it would be fun to try and see if we can. 
And you also need to start using other weapons, but we just don't have the perks for it. So I don't know if it's going to be possible. We could try to land some arrows on him. We do need mana, though. Maybe we'll switch over to archery when we get enough mana to be able to use it. Either way, here's the giant. Should we take him on in head-to-head -head combat? I wonder if we have the damage. We can give it a shot. Let's try beast form. See if that works. Gonna save over that and just... Ah, oh, crap. That was supposed to be the thumbnail. Oh, well. Look at me, giant. Fall to me, dragon. Oh, man. Yeah, he's just like, let's go, dude. Okay, we gotta bait out a bait out a slam. Yeah! Nope. It's Grok the Giant. It is so hard to control werewolves, man. I swear to God. Okay! Nope. Nope. Grok is too powerful for Howl of Terror. Dude. Oh, come on. Come on. Shit, we need to get him with the we need to get him with the launch. We need to avoid the, the hammer. Yo, 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 yo. Launch him. Launch him. Yes. Oh my god, we're doing it. Woo -hoo -hoo, the double launch. The stun lock. Yes. We did it. What up, Grok? Cowhide. Giant's toe, gold, grand soul gem, and a wolf pelt. We do need a wolf pelt. Cool. Sorry, buddy. Honestly, he was just a—he was just an innocent giant mining, mining his own business. Not really sure why we had why why we had to go kill him like that. It's not so cool. Could have just led the goat away. Hello. Find Glad of the Goat. Bring Glad of the Goat back to Ennis and Rorikstead. Okay. Well, that's not good because if we see a dragon, rip Glad of the Goat. I'm gonna assume it's not essential. Maybe if Glad of the Goat actually dies. You have to do you'd have to do the quest some other way. Are you really that slow? God, I am having PTSD flashbacks to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. There's a certain goat escort quest. Know what I'm talking about? You can hit while sprinting as a werewolf. I feel like I tried well yeah, I feel like I've done that before, but the problem with the werewolf is that it feels so you're so fast to try and attack with the hitboxes, it just isn't the best. It feels Good. So it's kind of hard to just land attacks in general. The sea of deaths for the time. Dude, if you think this episode have, has a lot of deaths, you should see. <laughs> there are episodes that have roughly 8 billion times more deaths. Uh, th this is a light death episode so far. Okay, Gleta just teleported? Where's Gleta at? I'm gonna assume she's back. I don't actually see her. Hello? Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in White Run, they might know me. Did his voice just change? Okay, where's Gleta? Let's wait an hour. She might. Get out of line, and you'll have them to deal with. Hey, it's Gleta. Okay, I brought your goat back. Name's Ennis. Yeah, I know who you if are. You've got friends who do business in White Run, they might know me. Great, your goat. Remember your goat. You talked to Reldith yet? She's like a mother to me. The heck you talking about, dude? Did you call me the drunk one? Here's your goat. Now can you help me uh, retrace my steps? Gladder, I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day. I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. Mm -hmm. Talk to Isolde in Whiterun about the staff. Oh, I'll talk to Isolde about the staff. <laughs> By that. <laughs> I mean, we really need to locate. We really need to figure out how to make this staff because that's something that's a very big priority in um, Grogon's life at the moment. Let's do 360 Whirlwind. Good. Bam! Yes. Look at that. We just went right through there. Want to see a cool jump? Hey, watch. 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 No, you watch it. Watch that. What's up? So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Huh? Where are you going? Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even? As long as you bring back the wedding ring. That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. You have no idea. <laughs> a certain brotherhood would be showing up. Uh, and they're not really good with weddings. Know what I'm saying? Do you know what I did with it? You went right out to give it to your fiancé. 
Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witch Mist Grove, I can see why she left you. You're looking to become a merchant? I just need to give the wedding, please. Seriously, let me pay for the ring. I don't care about the ring. Tell me what else I said. What was that story about my fiance? How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witch Mist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. What do you know of the Khajiit? What the heck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what do you know about Khajiit, randomly? Farewell. Bye! I think I don't think I typically do this one either. Find the wedding ring in Witch Mist Grove. Interesting. We've been there. Oh my god. Okay. More dragons! Yay! Any way to make the wedding go through? I don't think so. I don't actually remember. I, I think I have done this, but I don't remember enough about it. Because, like I said, usually I typically just... Oh, yeah! I remember this. Oh, I was going to say it's a hot witch, isn't it? But no, that's a hag raven. I thought it was like a, an attractive NPC like Isolda. But no, not at all. It's a literally smelly bird lady. It's a literal smelly bird lady. Let's make another save here. This would make a good thumbnail. A neat little old witch hut. Or I can't talk with the hag raven, right? Ah, Ning. I've been waiting for you to return. <laughs> to consummate our love. I totally forgot about this. Um, actually, I was, uh, <laughs> hoping to get the ring back. What? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. You're gonna kill me? Well, then nobody wins. What's your plan? Okay, let's do this. Can't see me. <laughs> hey, look! It's hey, look! It's an allegory for our for our uh, loving relationship. And I'm gone. Then, yes. okay, just gonna mark you for death. You just relax on that. You think about what you've done. Just check your room. Oh yeah, I remember this place smelling like utter shit and blood. Yeah, yeah, and piss. Yeah, shit, blood, and piss. How could I forget? <laughs> Such lovely memories. Okay, gonna go ahead and kill you now, if you don't mind. Oh, you survived one. That's good. That's good. Well, your soul's mine, so there's that. Wedding ring, death bell, frost salt, tag raven, feather. Now, what's kind of messed up about that is she was actually sentient and able to carry a conversation with us, and then we murdered her. And she all she wanted was love. I mean, she did attack me. We were exhibiting just self-defense, but still, it's kind of sad. Bitch, you just let me wait. You literally just let me wait. This game, dude. Oh my god, get me away from the dragons. Okay. You're letting me wait now, alright? So that means I can fast travel, okay? That's the rules. Thank you. Holy moly. I guess we're operating under the assumption yes. that all uh, hag ravens are bad. Stop swearing you're going to get demonetized. Well, I can say smaller stuff, I think, just not. It, it literally says you can't drop F bombs or something like that. Just about everybody in here. Wait, what Give the? A holler if you have any questions. It said she was in the house. Oh, she. Oh, okay. It looked like she was in Arcadia's Cauldron somehow. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. No, you're not. Here's the... ring. Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morvenskar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Morvenskar? Why do I not remember what that is? Head to Morvenskar. Yeah, so, like, if you do it the way of just intimidating or buying everybody off, you miss out on the entire fun of this quest. This is a fun quest with Inigo. Yeah, I did a video on Inigo a long time ago, but that's all I've ever done with Inigo. I know people like him a lot, though. He's uh, actually a really good companion, right? We're gonna grab whatever this is... Mara's Eye Pond. I feel like that might be a Skyrim's Hidden Treasures... God, with all the Skyrim hype, I should really just do more. I should really just release the same content <laughs> updated 
and do new Skyrim's treasures. Skyrim's hidden treasures. <gasps> no joke, it would probably be a hit, but. Did we do every single look? The problem is I did a lot of locations that really didn't deserve a location, you know? Um, I'm just wondering if there's any I never covered that were really good. Like, Kagrenzel is always the standard for me because that's a really, really good off-the-beaten-path uh, off place to discover. But not everyone's like that. A lot of them are just like, hey, it's a cave. Wow, dude. Can you believe it? It's another cave. Whoa, dude. So I don't know. It'd be kind of neat, but I'm just not sure how many locations. A lot of them got deleted, which is why I redid Kagrenzel. A lot of them got deleted um, from YouTube for some reason. Oh, yeah, because of tags. That's why. Okay, we're going to wait three, four, five hours. Yeah, I used to use, like, gratuitous tags because that was kind of the thing in the olden days of YouTube to just put, like, an overt amount of tags in your videos. And I was young and dumb, and I didn't realize that that would come to bite me in the ass later on. So a lot of the Skyrim Hidden Treasures got forever deleted. Fun fact. Okay, let's try to do a big hit. Uh, is there any way to get some progress? We're so close to level 38. Not really, because I don't really have any perks for anything. Oh, Jesus. There are so many enemies here. Okay. Why is my stealth failing me so gratuitous? All right, and we're running for it. And we're running for it. And we're running for it. We are not killing all of these. It's going to be impossible. Uh, what are we doing here? What's the goal? It just said go here, right? There's gonna be some sort of wedding ceremony or some something. Yeah, when all of them aggro like that, that is not going to happen. Well, whatever we're looking for is in here. Question is, can we see where it is? Is it down there? Is it up there? I'm not seeing the, not seeing the. Oh, I'm not seeing the quest marker. Why do they need me to do this? We use magic, not weapons. I swear, they're making me do this for a laugh. At least I'm not dealing with the prisoners down below. I'm trying to read. Can you actually keep it down? Thanks. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about what goes on down there. I bet Naris gets a kick out of it. Nasty fella he is. You'd better quiet down before you end up there. Then I'd have to work the forge. Unique conversation. Very cool. Okay, we're going to jump behind you and give you some love taps if you don't mind. The question is, who should we go for first? This guy, when he looks over there, he's looking down there. Maybe we can get behind his uh, his friend and stab her and murder her real quick. Man, there are so many bottles of wine. Holy God, you guys have a problem. Yeah! <laughs> Must have been the wind, right, pal? I think it was the wind. I think she just had a heart attack on the spot. Brain aneurysm. It happens, dude. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for your soul, though. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? I don't know if it's downstairs or upstairs. I don't remember this part at all. But we weren't able to persuade or buy our way out of this one, which means you have to do this. So again, why do I not remember it? I don't know. My memory is just terrible. I play too many games. I don't pay enough attention. I go through one thing, experience another thing. What's up, everybody? What is up there? Oh, man, I'm having, like, flashbacks to this room. Okay, we're going to make a big save here. I am having flashbacks to this room, and this room is not good. Not good. Okay, shh. It's all gonna be over in just a second. Okay, shh. Don't let your other guy know, all right? He doesn't know, right? No, 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 no. It's nothing. It's just a dead body. What? You've never seen a dead body before? God, it's not that it's that interesting. It's just a dead body. Dude, it doesn't even matter. Leave it alone. Okay, we need to go up there. I'm not sure if this is one of those things where it's like a random dungeon it's given us here or if this always or if it always takes you here no it probably always takes you here because there was literally a voice line where she said go to Vunsk or whatever this place is called just open the lock 
Just open the lock. You're right there. Just open the lock. Come on now. You little bitch. You little bitch. Thank you. Just goes to show everybody, if ever you don't get your way, just use name calling. And it always works out. Every single time. Hey, what's up, what you noob? Welcome. Hello from India. Well, you're from India, but hello from the U.S. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Okay, want to see a fun thing? Watch. This is the point of this. What's that? There ain't nothing. Oh, okay. What is that? What the hell is going on? Why is there a giant orb? Okay, just gonna touch, just, just gonna hit you if you don't mind, okay? <laughs> Yo, what the? Okay, cool, dude. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Half my attacks are just gone out of thin air. That was great. That was really cool. I love when that happens. Okay, where's my f uh, fire breath? This is not. Um. Cool. I like how the other two attacks are just like, nope, bye, see you later. Adios. I don't want to do my job today. Oh, boy. All right, you come over here. We're doing this fast now. Going to give you a boop. Okay. Nope, it was nothing. Don't worry about it. Just going to give you a boop. Okay, 99. Let me take that. Thanks so much. I don't know. Something should be happening here like they should be activating, but that kind of gets rid of any stealth play styles. So hopefully this works, even though we're going to be doing this. You need to die now. Yo, you need to die now. Dude, this guy is... Okay. Unbelievable. Why is he so strong? I'm confused. Fire breath, and then we need to use that potion we just grabbed. Extreme healing. Thank you. Okay. Holy God. Uh, Berserker Rage. Beast form. Go, 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 go. They do stack by... Wow, look at my HP. Beast form is like... Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me one second. Holy crap. All right, I'm not messing around anymore. You're going to make me bring out the big stuff, huh? Didn't think I'd need it. Didn't think I'd need the big stuff. That's fine. We'll bring out the big stuff. It's all good. No, 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 no. Adios, muchacho. Thank you. Okay, this guy is dying in one hit. I refuse to believe that he'll live. No, we're going to pop that invisibility because he's going to see me. I know it's going to be the case. Oh, crap. I messed up because I didn't use Berserker Rage first. But it's fine. We're going to get behind him. We're going to pop it. Don't you dare. Get on the... Get on the... What am I being blocked by? Stupid antler thing. Hmm? Okay, Mayroon's Razor activated. That works for me. Let's do... That... Here I come. Thank you. Jeez Louise. What is this? To Misty Grove. Oh, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. What a creep. Cluster. <laughs> it's just a funny joke for everybody to enjoy. You know, we're having a good time here. We have fun here. It's just a funny joke. We learned water breathing. Can't believe we didn't know that already. Into the Misty Grove. Did you like that joke, gamers? What's up, DB Fig? Welcome into the stream. Check out DB Fig, he's a great streamer. Check out CD, also she's a great streamer. Check out Lily Alive, she's a fantastic streamer. And check out Zero Period Productions slash George. He's all right. <laughs> Yo, what's up? All right, let's wait for this berserker rage to wear off. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna see this in all of its wonderful glory get so lucky with Mayroon's razor I do indeed I do wow wow I just uh <laughs> okay I just saw a thing over there wow all right okay wow uh hello you're here beginning to think you might not make it oh my god what are you <laughs> i get <laughs> desu what are you doing dude um there was quite a trip <clears throat> where are we i thought you might not remember your first trip here you had a big night i think you've definitely earned a staff that i have all the 
things needed to repair it. Do you have any, um, Excedrin? Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, <gasps> I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. What? <laughs> You're telling me this whole time? <laughs> you were the Daedric Prince of Debauchery and Revelment? The Sanguine? Or Sanguine? Again, it, like when you use it as an adjective, it's like Sanguine. Like, the Sanguine Goblet dripped fervorously or something like that, right? So I don't know, is it Sanguine because it's a dude or is it Sanguine? I'm not sure. What? You're telling me this whole time? <laughs> I thought I was just having a good old time with my pal. And you're, you're a Daedra. Oh, dude. What? What are you staring at? Why did you choose me? Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decision's through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. Hmm. Hmm? So all of this was just a prank? Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. Thanks, I, I, I guess. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. No! Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean room. What? Okay, that's actually fine, but I want to go back and just, like, explore that, because that's obviously a Daedric... The Misty... Wait, is the... Wait, is Sanguine's Daedric realm called the Misty Grove? No, right? Isn't it called something else? Why does he remind you from Jack from Borderlands? Yeah, he clickbaited us. Is the Misty Grove isn't Sanguine's Daedric Plane of Oblivion, right? Isn't it something else? I really just needed something to yeah, 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 yeah. And you did just no, 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 no. I haven't been so. No, I want to talk to the people. Yes. They're just literally yeah, called. I don't owe you money. Stop you talking know. to me, dude. I don't know you. No, money. <laughs> he will not stop. I need to get. A, I need to get a thumbnail like this. It's gonna be hard because he's constantly trying to talk to us. No. Okay, we're gonna play some. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna play some. Duck, duck, goose, with Sanguine. Uh, all right, I guess that's it. Well, thanks for the staff, nerd. Nope, you're not touching me. Nope. Yes. Nope. Get on the barrel. Jump out of here. Okay, whatever, Todd. Todd thought of everything, didn't he? All right, let's reload the main save. We got to go back and get a thumbnail there because it's a neat little setup they got. There we go, folks. That's the uh, Daedric uh, quest for Sanguine done. Quite a fun, interesting one. Everybody's favorite when, uh, well, a lot of people's favorite when you start up Skyrim because you don't realize you're on a Daedric quest unless you look at the uh, little thing. I guess we'll do the thing again where I explained that um, if you look at the quests, they've got the little insignia to the left and right of the name. Uh, like this one has the uh, dragons because it's the main quest, and that's when somebody always says, I didn't know that, GV. Well, now you do. Uh, so, yeah, if you looked at that one, it would have the little Daedric icons. That's the only way to know, really, that you're on a Daedric quest. But, obviously, you know, kind of the typical hungover and don't know, you know, what went on sort of cliche thing. Uh, what do we get? We got the Sanguine Rose. Summons a Dramora for 60 seconds, which actually might be really good on Legendary Difficulty. No joke. Uh, this thing is sick. I always liked how it looked. It's just a big... Rose. It's also in Oblivion, right? You get the same exact thing for Sanguine, which also is a very fun quest in Oblivion. One of the best. Uh, well, we're going to go super long today because this chat was insanely generous and they're still doing insane things as I'm literally streaming. Uh, somebody... Wait, I know you. <laughs> you don't know me, pal. Okay? You don't know me. Trust me. Uh, let's get right to it. I won't waste any time, but, um, yeah. Uh, when I talked at the start of the stream about people being insanely generous, well, let's just say... <laughs> we turn notifications off while we do live episodes uh, because, you know, I, I want to keep it mainly a YouTube-based thing that we're doing here, even though we're doing it on Twitch. Um, 
And yeah, there's a massive donation over there to the right that just didn't even pop up. And I'm assuming the person knew that it wouldn't pop up, so I don't I'm not even sure if I should even say Wait. I know you. you're making a mistake. Anyways, that's what I mean. It's uh I yeah. If you're heading to the blue palace. You go you go to the blue palace. Shush. shush. Okay, where do we go? Where's the dude? Is he out and about in the daytime, or is it an only a night thing? <laughs> He's usually right over here near the Blue Palace, as far as I remember. But I don't think one of those dudes are him. Yo, leave me alone, dude. You're making a mistake. Well, this Ellen yeah, that's crazy, dude. Wow, I can't believe it. That's nuts. Is it you? Aha! Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds. And I cannot bring him back. Say what, dude? Uh, here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Oh, yeah, we get the gift of charity if you give to beggars, by the way. We'll check what that does. I forget. I think it's speechcraft or something again. What do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? How can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people of no heed. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. What? That's crazy. Why don't you leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Until next time. Yeah. D until next time. Uh, yeah, pal. I I'll have you know. I actually... Hey, pal, you're not listening. I played the... Sh uh, Shivering Isles was one of my Why favorite DLC. Ignore me? So... Why you don't got to tell me heads. what's going to happen, because I know, careful. punk. No, you heard me, punk. No, it's all... Fo it's... Hey, hey, hey. He, no, he did it first, dude. He touched me first, trust me. Okay, we have a new quest. I wonder what it is. The Mind of Madness. Derevan wants me to talk to his master about returning from vacation. To do so, I need to gain entrance to the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. Gain access to the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. We have something tagged here, too. What is it? Uh, Nothing. It's nothing. Also, DB Fig gifted a sub. Thank you, DB. Good. Yes. Thank you very much. Sorry if there's anything else I missed, folks. Like I said, uh, we're usually we're usually in YouTube mode during these recordings. I feel bad for especially if people support the stream while we're you know recording since we have the notifications turned off. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Who does she look like? Oh my god, I'm seeing it at the forefront of my mind. Who is it? Who is it? It's somebody. It's somebody from a show. She looks like somebody from a... She looks like Deb from De uh, from Dexter. She looks like the sister, Deb. Yeah, all kind of. It's the eyes. Folk asked me to check it out. Well... I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Okay, bye! Whee! You don't really can't enter this. Does she look like a bitch? What is that from? Does he look like a... Oh, Pulp Fit... I know YouTube doesn't understand why I'm sitting here looking at the ground. I just need to do it for five seconds, okay? Give me five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay! Okay, ten more seconds, please. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 
let's go do the the, the, the madness quest. Uh, yeah, the Pelagius Wing. Uh, something funny to say. What? Uh, um, whoa! What the heck? Purple butterfly in a jar. I think that's. Uh, no. Is this from? Is this from the? Uh, I bet this is from. Um, what's it called? It definitely is. I'm not even taking that. If that's not from the uh, the, uh, the the Creation Club thing, then I'll um, then I will um, then I will um. Oh my God, dude! Me and going back into the place that I've already been. Name a better combo. Uh, what? Huh? Um, what am I doing? Okay, this way. Let's go upstairs. Um. Funny thing to say, uh, yeah, the hip bone's connected to the tailbone, the tailbone's connected to the- I sure hope this hallway doesn't do anything weird to me, I really can't take it. What did I just uh, say? Oh, I couldn't. Goes right through. How rude! Besides, I have so can't many be things bothered to, do. to host an old friend So many for undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my- my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, but dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people ears. do without you? I'm the crazy one Sing. now. Smile. <laughs> Grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, ho ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Um, well, if I seem a little frazzled. Insane shit is happening over to my right. I'll just leave it at that. I know uh, people watching on YouTube have zero context, so I'll just leave it at that. Insane shit. Um, hi. How rude. Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Too much Makoto. Every time I hear Shia Gorath in this game, I always think of the Courage the Cowardly Dog bit with uh, Muriel where she's a little girl and she's like, Too much macaroni. Too much cheese. Too much macaroni and cheese. Not enough macaroni. Not enough cheese. If anybody knows what I'm talking about. Good. Wait. Where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Who are you talking to? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. What, was he some kind of mad king or something? <laughs> it's not even funny because there's nothing that ties this into Game of Thrones at all. It's not even funny. I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? You don't have an eternity, though, because you have a date with, uh, you, ha you have to do a certain jig a lag. Uh, yeah, you you're, you're, your time is coming to an end at some point, dude. I think I made a mistake coming here. Oh, no, 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 no mistake at all. What you made? a choice. Granted, not a very wise choice, but these things happen. <laughs> oh, the folly of youth. You know, you remind me of myself at a young age. All I cared about was 
riding narwhals and sleeping in honeycombs and drinking babies. Who does it? Word of advice. If you ride a narwhal, mind the pointy end. Ah, but there I go. Waxing poetic about me misspent youth. Now, where were we? <laughs> yes, you're the mortal messenger. And I am... Whoa, there was a spelling error there. Have you any idea? It said and I am instead of and. There was no D there. I've never caught that before. You're a madman. She was a madman. Help us. Save us. She was a madman. Help us. Save us. You're a madman. Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive. And having an angry immortal skip rope with your entry. Skip rope. I always if remember not, that comes up. Then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Skip rope. The R rolling is is legendary. Do you know my girlfriend Mary cannot roll her R's and also cannot whistle? I'm not kidding. She cannot roll her R's nor can she whistle. It's baffling to me. <laughs> Does that mean you leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay. What's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? We have a viewer called Ace of Swords who literally sent me a Wabajack, and I just realized I have never been able to show it in a video yet. And I also have to take a quick bathroom break. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to show that shit off because it's fantastic. I will see you all in just a second. Wait till you see this shit. It's going to blow your mind. Be right back. Hey, it's me. We're going to take a, pre a brief reprieve uh, to just show you something absolutely insane. Like I said, we have a viewer uh, called Ace of Swords uh, in the chat, and she sent me just the literal coolest thing ever. I, we've already talked about it, you know, in a crazy amount here. So Twitch, uh, the Twitch chat uh, knows f probably full well and has seen these things. But I, for whatever reason, I haven't thought to show it on a YouTube thing yet. So, first of all, the alien blaster from Fallout New Vegas recreated in stunning detail. Look at this thing, dude. Look at this thing, dude. Like, it's impeccable. It's just so fantastic. You know, 3D modeled. I don't know how the process works. Ace of Swords described it a bit, but, you know, just impeccably created. And, uh, by the way, the literal power thing comes out the energy and then you've put it back in it's so cool and then on top of that just because obviously we're dealing with this we're about to get it literally the waba jack literally again painstakingly created a full-sized waba jack look at this it's got all the different faces on it which we can take a look once we actually get the in-game waba jack but it's like literally life size. It's it's I don't know what five feet or whatever. 
It's insane. So I had to show that off because I know we obviously have a lot of Elder Scrolls slash Fallout fans watching this series. And it's just the coolest thing, man. Yeah. Ugh. It's just the coolest thing. So, right back into the game. Ch -ch -ch game gun, go! Bam! Look, it's video game time again. Okay, everybody in the Twitch chat, bear with me. We're going super long. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't continue the timer. This is kind of a mess. <laughs> Nevertheless, use the Wabajack to escape from Pelagius' mind. Let's do it. Did he give me it? Oh, look, there it is. Oh. oh. So check it out. Oh, we don't even have an inventory screen. Well, there it is. So you can see the, the in-game version. Yeah. And then the uh, in-real-life version. The IRL version, if you will. Come on. There we go. So sick. Okay, so as far as the quest goes, this is obviously Sheo Gorath. I haven't really talked about it, but here we have the Daedric Prince of Madness. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's, it's a, a delicate, delicate, delicate state, state of mind. Of mind. Uh, voiced by Wes Anderson. No, Wes Johnson. I always start to say Come Wes on. Anderson, like I'm the uh, the, the director. Wes Johnson, amazing dude. Everybody loves Wes. Uh, yeah, and he does. Uh, he's just the voice for Sheo oh, Gorath. Good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. So I guess we have to hit the Storm Atronax with the Wabajack, right? Except not. <laughs> <clears throat> Except not. <laughs> Except, uh, except not. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. So, this quest was always really confusing to me. I like it a lot because it's so off the walls and weird, but I don't fully understand what goes on each time. So you have all these little, like, little arenas where you have to, like, phys figure out a puzzle, right? So you come up to this one, and there's two Storm Atronachs fighting, and I don't, again, I'm not the lore guy. So as far as I understand, that's Emperor Pelagius right up there. That's supposed to be who that is. But then there's people with dwarven armor behind him, and you shoot them. It's a, it's a trick because it thinks, you know, the game makes you think that you have to shoot the things in the arena but really you just have to shoot the people behind him is that supposed to mean that they were going to betray him or that he was just paranoid and you attack the people that are supposed to be protecting him i never understood that does anybody in the chat know because that was always really confusing to me um but yeah the actual answer is shooting the the guards behind emperor pelagius and i don't know why because he's paranoid it's confusing either way we figured that one out but there are two more puzzles to figure out and, and you have to use the the waba jack to do it you can't you don't even have an inventory at the moment you have to uh you have to use this thing dry diving into pelagius's mind and helping with his mental issues yeah that's what's happening those are his parents yeah that would make sense because they turned into wolves so his mom was the the wolf queen right all the books that we see the wolf queen so yeah, that, that would make more sense. They're, they're his parents. It's weird because they have armor on, so I, I always thought they were his guards. But I think, yeah, you're supposed to be targeting his mom, I suppose, who was evil? Because she's the wolf queen that did bad things? There's a quest involving her that we'll see later on. We'll save the middle one for last. I always forget which one's which. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, 
Wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile cell. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Look at this little man. It's confidence. Look at this little man. <laughs> and look at this big boy. No, hey, you stop that right now, all right? I'm gonna put you both in balance, okay? Where the hell? Okay, he's normal sized. And he's normal sized. What is the deal with these two? Oh, I see. If he gets hit too many times, he turns back to being small. Okay, so we have to hit him. Man, imagine if this sucks ass on Legendary like it's so hard. But it actually shouldn't be hard. We just have to hit these dudes here. You seem to be having a small problem. Or perhaps it's a big problem. I shrunk the whole thing down. Well, I'm trying. But it's not doing nothing. So we make him the same size. You don't just get rid of the ghosts? Here we go. Well, he's big now. Maybe we shoot him to make him smaller? Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating him. Yeah, with these quests, I always just kind of threw everything at the wall until it just worked. The way that he describes it makes it seem like you need to make them both the same size, the anger and the confidence. But I guess you just, I guess the confidence is supposed to be the biggest, which outweighs the self-doubt, which were the ghosts, and then the anger. Yeah, this quest, I like it because it's so weird, but it was always really confusing to me. I don't think the most clear of quests, but I might just be super duper dumb. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Hey, pal! We're gonna get you sorted, okay? Pelagius the Tormented. Uh, what do we, do we activate him? I always forget. Okay, hello, yeah, let's do it. Is there something tormenting him already? Yo, Pelagius, there's not even anything tormenting you, pal. Okay, I guess we gotta hit him with the Wabajack. Okay, now we got a, now we got, we got tower defense. So the wolf turns into the goat. We just gotta, we just gotta defend our tower. Oh, is it like literally? Yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting how this entire quest goes. I guess we hit him again. It's a bandit chief. No, it's just a little boy. It's little Pelagius. It's, it's little P. We gotta go. We got little P. Who we got next? Ah. Now you stop that right now. Now it's a sultry maiden. I literally remembered it was called Sultry Maiden. Yeah. Man, we're good with those Wabajack shots. What did it turn into? This one's just gone. Okay, that's anticlimactic. Dragon Priest? Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta get him well, out of there immediately. Now, that's something to crow about. With Pelagius something about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Okay, glad I could help you out, pal. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, boy! Woo! Yeah, dude! This kid's loving it. What's your name? Got nothing to say, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, shut the music up. Cut the music. Cut the music. Seriously, cut the music. I don't know if it's gonna cut. There's a thing, I think. I swear to God, doesn't she have a man voice? I feel like she has a man's voice, but she's not saying nothing. And nothing in the chest. Okay, bye-bye now. This quest is crazy. Uh, yeah, I think she has a, a literal man's voice at certain points, but she didn't there for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. So yeah, basically this entire quest is hit everything with the Wabajack, and then you've done it. That's the whole quest.
That's the quest. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I've done it. I've fixed Pelagius' mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? But you're so fun to hang out with. Also, but I need the Wabajack. the third. Once the mad emperor of Tamriel. Oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you do you mind? Back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy Very times. I can't wait to. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Should turn Greyjoy into a better kitty. Just kidding. He's wonderful, but he he messes with Yen way too much. He literally like, he he <laughs> he gets this look on his face where he you just know he's gonna like mess with her and not let up, and she gets really really pissed. I'm telling you, really 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 pissed. And I can see it in his face where he's gonna do it. He starts wagging his tail, and he's like he like narrows his eyes, and he just he just keeps like biting her and playing with her, and she just wants him to leave really bad. Okay, that's the Sarah Gorath quest, everybody. If you're the one person in either the Twitch chat or in the YouTube channel that has not seen that quest, which is bizarre. Um, and yeah, we actually get to keep the Wabajack, which I guess we'll try to test out a little bit. We'll make a save, of course, because you have to make a save if you're going to kill everybody slash use the Wabajack on everybody in a town. Queue up the 10,000 subscribers Sk Skyrim rap lyrics now. Let's take a look at it. So we got weapons, we got the Sanguine Rose, and we got... Oh, holy, it's the Wabajack. Wow! So again, just looks impeccable. Like, no joke, it even looks better in real life. And I'm not just saying that because a nice viewer sent it to me. I'm looking at the faces here, and I'm looking at the faces over there. And this design looks better, like much more detailed. Um, but it's obviously based on this. And it's just so impeccable. So there it is. So cool to have it, like, in real life over there to the left. Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, we'll make a save here, and we'll go test out both of these weapons, and we'll call it an episode, folks. Crap, where was I gonna... Okay, that's gonna be the thumbnail right there. So let's save here, and then let's go to White Run, since it's so easy to just cause havoc. Not White Run Stables. Did I say White Run Stables? No. Keep it? Of course. Alright, so let's try it. So, we'll use the Sanguine Rose first, which summons a random Daedra. I think it's random, right? Grogon. How did that happen? I turned off notifications. Thank you, Emperor. What the heck? I must have missed the bits. <laughs> Thank you, Emperor. Uh, okay. What do we have here? Yeah, Dramora Markianaz. And I think you can only have one at a time, right? And I swear to God, I thought it was like a random one each time. Is it always a Markianaz or is it based on your level? Not entirely sure. Summons a Dramora for 60 seconds. Just says summons a Dramora. Now let's use the Wabajack. We're probably going to get murdered in like five seconds, but we'll give it a shot. So the Wabajack does like every effect in the game randomly. Every effect in the game randomly. So this guy turned into a rabbit. It's actually really powerful, no joke. Oop, but we don't want that. It's doing the uh, elemental explosions. Ooh, it summoned a derma. No, I hit my friend. It 
It's doing the elemental explosions over and over again. But they're actually pretty strong, surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah, the Wobba Jack is no joke. I always thought it was a joke weapon. Oh my god, you see that dodge. No, I hit the... Ugh. Okay, let's be a little more accurate. Somebody got turned into a rabbit or a chicken. Okay, do something cooler, please. What happened to him? He's just gone. Dodge, duck, dive, duck, and dodge. We only have a couple more charges. Okay, that's it, but we can charge it up. Okay, let's jump. Oh, God, I don't want to be down here. Okay, let's use uh, healing. No, you're going to die or turn into a chicken or disappear compla uh, completely. I think it drains health, too. Crap. It's hard to aim with all these dudes trying to murder me. Okay, let's use some potions. I want to show, like, all of the effects, but I, it's hard to tell what the hell is going on, obviously. Excuse me. Some people are just, like, straight up disappearing. <laughs> I think it's trying to do the fear effect as well. Oh, he's a chicken now. What the hell? Where did he go? <laughs> Does it launch them in the air? <laughs> he's just is out of there. This guy needs to get the hell out of here. Get out of here, Baldy. Stop. Okay, we'll say... In this parallel universe, Grogon just was able to get out of all the insane chaos. But really, we're just going to reload that save. So yeah, the Wabajack does like every effect in the game. Um, I thought it was only a few when I first got it, because I always kind of wrote it off as like, oh, it's just kind of a meme weapon. You just kind of, you know, it just does random things. You can't really rely on it. It's actually pretty strong. Because I think um, it'll banish Daedra, it'll turn things straight up into a chicken or a rabbit, which means, like, you can get rid of some of the hardest enemies in the game. Like, legitimately, it might have some practical applications in the legendary playthrough, because if there's something I just cannot kill, we might be able to, like, turn it into a rabbit. <laughs> um, it does all the elemental, like, explosions, fire, ice, and shock. It... I think tries to do the fear effect. It'll summon Daedra. It'll, like, do every effect in the game. Like, it, the, it, just look at the list on the wiki. It goes, like, it goes on and on and on and on. The list is massive of the different effects that it'll do. So, there you go. Two of the most fun Daedric quests in the game. We only have, like, two or three left. Um, and uh, everybody, of course, loves the Sanguine one. And everybody loves the Shere Gorath one. So... Maybe we'll just finish those off since um, we've been doing a lot of house building and clearly people are not too into it, which I knew would happen because, yeah, it's boring crafting. But, um, yeah, maybe we'll just finish off all the Daedric quests. But either way, we're going to call that an episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to get those two quests done at least. Thank you so much for watching. And, man, like I said at the start of the video, uh, just massive thanks to everybody that watches and supports. And yada, yada, yada. I've said it so many times. It means so much to me, man. It's such a fun job, when, it, especially when it's going well, to just provide content, talk to people live on Twitch, and just have a good time, man. It's, it's, it's... I live a very, 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 very lucky existence, and last year really made me realize that. Last year, I went through some pretty dark times, and but the good thing about it is it really opened, to my, opened my eyes to just how lucky I am, so... Thank you so much. Uh, we'll continue this in the next episode, and I will see you all there. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to catch more of me, I'm streaming all the time pretty much on Twitch. Link and schedule are below. If you'd like to go the extra mile in support of me, consider becoming a patron and or liking the video. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.